Hello there. Alrighty. Today we're going to do something kind of a little bit different again. We're going to be using the scoreboard and I'm going to make two cards because I want to do one going this way and one do going this way. And we're going to make it using just one strip of card of decorative paper on the card. Alrighty. So first things first is you need a strip of decorative paper. Mine doesn't go quite over to the edges, but that's okay. I'm just going to measure in between and just glue it down. Alrighty. So get some glue on here. And then I'm going to raise it up just a little bit from the edge. About, about, about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Okay, we'll let that dry. Oh, and I have this excess piece that I can put on the inside. So we may as well do that now. Too much in that corner. Alrighty, there. Let that dry while we're doing this one. And again, we went up a little bit. And there, and we'll trim off the extra piece. Alrighty, so there's the beginnings of our card. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this scoreboard and move these out of the way. Okay, so we'll start out with this pink one and we need the scoring tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a, find a number, so number eight I guess here. Hopefully that's, oh yes it is, okay. I'm just kind of dragging it down, not pressing on it, just to make sure it's it's even on both sides, which it is. All right, so this, it's lined up with my eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the next number, which is eight and a, an eighth. So I'm gonna go ahead and press, score that. And then eight and a quarter and score that. And I guess it is a little crooked, but that's okay. And then another eighth of an inch. Okay, so we've got three lines on there. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Line this top up with one of the rows and then go over, over one notch, over two notches, over three notches. There, all right. So that's done. Isn't that pretty? Very simple. Okay, so we've got that one done. So now let's do this one. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna line it up. Which. So it would be that one. Okay, so then skip over to the next one and do one row, two rows, three rows. And then this one's on probably there. So let's do one row, two rows, three rows. All righty, we're done with our scoreboard. Okay, so let me show you this one. Okay, so there's that one and there's this one. Very simple, don't you think? Okay, so now let's go ahead and burnish that down. Burnish that one down. All right, so now all we have to do is stamp a, a little word or a verse right above there. And let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, gray. They would both look nice with a gray. So where, where is gray? I have gray wool, that would be pretty. I apologize if I knock the camera wing. Hopefully I don't. Oh, oops, I just did, sorry. Okay, so we've got gray, which will match with both of these. And I've got the words just because. All right, and I haven't really stamped this one. All right, that's good. But I have to remember it rocks, so I don't wanna rock it. All right, so right above where these words are, just because, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then we'll do the same thing, but I think I'll do it on the other side this time. One, two, three, four, five. There, I like that. Okay, let me clean this off. All right, now I can pull them up and look how quickly those were put together. 
two cards real fast. Five minutes. That's pretty easy, don't you think? All right, so there you go. There's another idea to use your strips that are one inch or less along with your scoreboard. So I hope you like this idea and you'll pull out that scoreboard and those strips and go to town and enjoy yourself. Alrighty, so until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.